Welcome to our video presentation on automatic twist locks for container wagons. This video is presented by Team SG, South Western Railway, Bangalore Division. The innovation of automatic twist locks revolutionized the shipping industry. Let's dive in and explore the world of these remarkable devices. Container wagons are an integral part of modern freight transportation, allowing for the efficient movement of goods across vast distances. But how are containers secured to these wagons, ensuring their stability during transit? That's where automatic twist locks come into play. The automatic twist lock, ATL, is the compact container locating and securing device invented and patented by M. S. Holland & Co. These locks are fitted on low platform container flat for securing the containers. Unique feature of this lock is its locking and unlocking is automatic fitted at the locating points of underframe sole bar of the flat wagons. Steel torsion springs were provided in their internal mechanism in new version of ATL devices. These locks are designed to lock the containers with the wagons with a force of 800 pounds. It unlocks the container from the wagon with a force of 1,600 to 2,200 pounds. Hi friends, this is the ATL lock, automatic 6 lock, which is in assembled condition. We can see from here that this is a twist head, upper housing, this is a lower housing, torsion string, twist head shaft. Now let's see the parts inside this. We can disassemble this ATL lock. We know that the ATL twist head is connected to twist head shaft by the groove pin. So groove pin is this. This is the ATL twist head. This is the twist head shaft. So there is an external spacer between this upper housing and the ATL head. Then the upper and lower housing is connected with four torx screw, hexagonal torx screw. We can remove that. Here we go. So this is the upper housing. This is the twist head shaft. Actually, the head is folded by the twist head shaft and it is folded by the torsion spring. So this is the shaft bearing sleeve and internal spacer see this is and this is the torsion string torsion string is connected to lower housing with groove uh, locator pin so we can remove that so locator pin this is fixed so these are the parts friends now let's see how we can assemble this this torsion string is inserted through this there is a hole there is a hole here this hole will go through the pin now this is the twist head shaft we can place this here then internal spacer shaft bearing sleeve then upper housing will come then torsion screw external spacer ATN twist head finally the group pin when the container is loaded on this ATL the container will first touch this portion and this portion and it will be rotating the lock in this direction like this and container will sit in this portion and the lock will again come in 
this orientation only. Again, when the container is unloaded, it will sit in this slot from one side and in this slot from other side. And when this is lifted, the lock will come in this horizontal position. And when the complete container has unloaded, it will again come to this original position after unloading. Yeah, but I don't give it.